Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today I'm going to talk about lesson number nine: five rules to speak English well. Okay, let's start. Rule number one: read nice. Uh, read nice is the first rule in learning English. Normally, your language cannot be free and fluent when you feel stressful and tired. You also cannot take the language into your hand when you do not feel really nice. Language is a tool of communicating, tool to show your mind and your thought. You cannot learn English. You cannot speak English if your head is stuck in. To practice this rule before learning, before practicing English, you breath in three times deeply and talk with yourself. Speaking English is very easy. And I will speak English every day. Rule number two, memorizing. Normally, almost English learners think that they must memorize a lot of vocabulary, grammar rule to speak English well. So they are scared and not confident because they think their ability of memorizing is better. No, that is not true. The truth is that English will be the tool to help you improve your memory ability. Don't try to memorize vocabulary and grammar rule in traditional way. What you need to do is to memorize as many English sentences as possible. The more English sentences you have, the better your English level will be. You know, conquering English sentences not only help you speak English immediately, but also help you learn vocabulary and grammar rule automatically. Don't study vocabulary and grammar rule separately. You should memorize as many English sentences as possible to use immediately. Memorizing English sentences not, uh, also help you to be confident to talk with foreigners. Sure. I'm sure. The question is, how? How to memorize English sentences? The super English method has special techniques such as repeating, shocking body language to help you take English sentences, English paragraphs into your unconscious mind and use them anytime. In my next video, I will share with you this technique in special super English lesson. You must remember, remember deeply, studying English in a right way will help you fast improve your memory. The more English sentences you memorize, the better your English will be. Uh, rule number three, reciting. You must remember this rule clearly and deeply. English will never be yours if you cannot recite words sentences or paragraph by yourself. When you can recite a long English paragraph, I'm sure that you speak English confidently. Imagine you were in the Hoan Kim Lake and going to Han Te. You can tell foreigners the tale of Hoan Kim Lake. Your English is good or not and how many English words and English grammars you will have through the tale. A lot and a lot. Success in learning and speaking English is decided by this rule. Almost English learners do not study deeply, so they cannot memorize and recite anything. That's why they never dare to speak English. There's a true, simple principle that we just feel confident. We just dare to do things that we did before. We just do something confidently if we did it before. And of course, you only can speak English fluently if you speak the sentences and words before. So, you should practice reciting short and long English paragraph of super English lesson. You must remember, uh, you will see the miracle happens. Uh, super English paragraphs are very easy to learn and they can help you blurt out English easily. Uh, rule number four, the three-ni rule. Three-ni means speak English as loudly as possible. 
speak English as clearly as possible and speak English as quickly as possible. When practice, make sure that you speak English loudly because it is the only way to know you speak right or wrong. Uh, Besides loud speaking, also improve your listening ability. Raise up your confidence, develop your memorizing, then you never and never forget. Uh, speak English as clearly as possible helps you pronounce each word, each sentence correctly. Uh, produce the most confident feeling. The more important is that speak English as clearly, speak English clearly help you to build your standard international mouth muscle. This is the main factor. Help you speak English correctly. Uh, speak English as quickly as possible helps you a lot. Uh, the more quickly you speak, the better you can memorize English and never forget. The more quickly you speak, the faster your advanced pronunciation will build. And the more quickly you speak, the better your language feeling will be. These are because you see the fast intonation of speaking the fast intonation of speaking foreigner is not your problem anymore. Uh, you listening you listening English much more easier and react English much much better. Uh, you have to note that speak English uh, the technique speak English as quickly as possible. Only practice after you practice the technique. Uh, speak English as loudly and clearly as possible. Don't be hurry to try to speak English as quickly as possible because you could not do it well before building your international mouth muscle. Uh, rule number five, be stone. Be stone here means stubborn. Stubborn like stone. This means no fear of wrong English. No fear uh, to making mistake. My friend, human get more adult when making mistake. You just speak English well after making a lot and a lot of mistake. Never care about how poorly or how well you speak. Only care about catching the chance to speak. Never care about what other people think. Only care about making progress. Uh, my friend, enjoy losing face, enjoy making mistakes, and enjoy being laughed at. All the best English speaker is to be losing face, is to speak English poorly. So, what will you choose? One, bad at English forever. Or two, making mistakes, being laughed at, then improve. What will you choose? Start learning super English from now on, immediately and you will speak English well. That's all about my lesson number nine. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.